let me ask another question. Does that moment pass really quickly? Like, aren't there all, I like, uh, this is the hard part for me with apparel brands. I feel like they're all hot until they're not, and then they're yeah. dead. But I, I don't know. There's some, like, aloe doesn't seem to be going that direction. It seems to be exciting still. Yeah, I think it comes, I think it comes back to, um, again, can you figure out how to make it cool? Like, yeah. can you get the the style stylish people wearing it again yeah. or talking about it again? Like, you know, um, like Crocs is, is a good example of this, right? Like Crocs was really big. Then it sort of like went under the radar. And then as of last year or two years ago, they're back in a huge way. Yeah, yeah, and it's because of the collabs they're doing. Yeah. And uh, I would love to do like an episode where we brainstorm ideas for how to do top of funnel. Because I think that most people, when they hear top of funnel, they think, okay, we got to start running TV or podcast, or we need to throw up out of home. But the best top of funnel is, I think, collabs like this, like Warby Parker bringing Emma Chamberlain in, or Emma Chamberlain doing Aritzia, or uh, Post Malone doing something with Crocs. You know, like there's no better top of funnel or the Skinny Confidential doing a product with some brand. You know, like that is the best top of funnel. Even it, it might not convert on that exact product, but, but it'll then make your brand when, you know, you're coming to Thanksgiving relevant. shopping and you see Jolie, you're like, wait a second, I learned about this because Jolie did a collab with this company. Yeah, it makes your brand relevant for sure. Like yeah. I remember Crocs, for me, they I like they came back and now I own a bunch of pairs of Crocs and I love them. Yeah. Do you own any Crocs? No, I've never oh had Oh my a God, pair. it's the best shoe in the whole world. Like um, I, I probably own four or five pairs now. Wow. I, I've got them all in the last five months. They're incredible. You put them in sport mode? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, they did this collaboration with KFC where they had yeah. um, like little chicken uh, wings hanging off the front and they actually smelled like chicken wings too. Oh, and wow. I was like, I need to get a pair of these and they sold out in two seconds. And yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, this is cool. I, so I do think that I, I get where you're coming from, from collabs. I think there are misses with collabs. I think that Emma Chamberlain totally. and Warby Parker might be one of them for me because I'm just like, I understand what... I understand what Warby part like it's a very niche audience. Yeah, maybe it's a very niche yeah. audience. I I think there are opportunities to do a lot of collaborations, and I think that you know Emma Chamberlain could be like, hey, we're making a you know like Erwan always does a smoothie that's yeah. like this is a Kim Kardashian smoothie. It's twenty four dollars, yeah. and you're like, well, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Let me. Is there a, like I, is there a firm for the smoothie here? <laughs> uh, but yes, um, yeah. I do think that 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 is a way to make your brand really relevant. Yeah, yeah. Drink the, now, pay later. Yeah. So, do you know where Erwan's name comes from? No, I heard it's like um, what, what is it called? It's an acronym or not an acronym? What is it when like you know you can rearrange the letters and it's like nowhere? It actually is nowhere oh, spelled in different letters. Interesting. Um, but it's not like backwards. It's not like a palindrome or whatever. But whatever yeah. it is where you like rearrange the letters, it's nowhere. That's amazing. 